Hi, my name is Herm and I'm an application specialist with Onset Computer. Today I'd like to give you a demonstration of data logging software and show you what's possible in terms of working with your data. For the purposes of this demo, we'll be using Onset's Hoboware Pro data logging software, which is compatible with both PC and Macintosh computers. We'll run through the five main phases of using data logging software, including launching a data logger, data readout, graphing your data, data analysis, and some basic reporting capabilities. By the end of this webcast, you should have a solid understanding of how data logging software works and how it can help you make sense of your data. At this point, let's get right into the demo. First, we're going to look at what's called launching or starting the logger. Uh, this is the main screen in our Hoboware Pro software. And up here, if you follow my mouse cursor, you will see uh, a selection called device. We want to click on that and go to launch. Um, it's going to look for the any attached loggers, which we have at one of our loggers attached to it right now. This is the main launch window. This is where you would configure the logger for your particular application. Notice that it gives you the name or part number of the logger, the serial number, the number of times it has been used or deployed, and the battery level. Here in the description field, you can put in a unique description for your launch. Uh, right now we have data logger demo, which is a good, uh, a good label for that. You can also select the, the channels or the um, measurements that you want to make. This particular logger has the ability to measure temperature, relative humidity, and it also has a couple of external inputs. So today what we have is we have the temperature and the relative humidity selected and with no external inputs uh, installed that's why these are, points are not checked. We could also log the batteries, uh, the logger's battery voltage if we would like to. Today we're not going to do that. Below here we, this is where we set up the interval and what a logging interval is is how often the logger takes a measurement. So today uh, this actually defaulted to once a minute we're going to change it to once a second just so we can log a little data while we're talking and then we can go back and look at it. Uh, let's click on the right one. There we go. One a second. And you can see that underneath that it says logging duration will be approximately six hours and one minute. Now below this box we have our launch options. Launch options are when we want the logger to begin logging. The first selection, which is which is selected in this uh, in this demonstration, is indicates that the logger is going to start immediately. We can also start it at an interval, which is the next selection below. What that means is we can we can configure it to start and log at a particular time each time, like uh, exactly at 10 a.m. Say 10 a.m., 10:01, 10:02, etc. Delayed start is our next option down below. This is a very useful feature in that it will allow us to not only uh, set up the logger to automatically start at a future time, but it's also handy when deploying multiple loggers and uh, if you wish to synchronize the data, in other words, have them all start at the same time and then collate the data later from multiple loggers into one file, you can do it that way. So delayed start is very useful for that. Um, because the logger is connected to this PC, um, it is its internal clock is synchronized with the PC clock so if you launch all your loggers from the same PC they will uh, in essence have exactly the same um, time for s starting and their, their clocks will all be synchronized. The other option for launching is a trigger start and this particular logger has a little push button on the front so if you say trigger it will sit and wait to be launched until you push that button and it, it, it waits indefinitely. Okay, so we have all our uh, launch parameters installed and uh, the logger is ready to be launched. Now down here we also have a status window. We can actually check the status of the sensors to see what they are they are reading at this time. Uh, we can do that right now. If we click on that we can see that the temperature sensor is reading 80 degrees because it's sitting on top of the computer and the relative humidity is 40 percent. Um, the other measurements are inconsequential. They're grayed out because they haven't been selected. 
uh, and the dew point, you can see that the dew point is automatically calculated from the temp and RH. The other information, it says how much memory has been used, what its status is, etc. Again, we have not launched the logger yet. Okay, if we are satisfied with the configuration here, we would click the launch screen, the launch button, and this launches the logger. The logger is now logging. So if we let this, uh, because we set this for a one second interval, we are collecting data uh, as we speak right now.